Welcome to changing the Telabs Optical LAN OLT IP and Management VLAN. The purpose of this video is to introduce and walk through the process for changing the IP address and the Management VLAN parameters in the Telabs Optical LAN OLT. This process is designed to facilitate making these changes with as little disruption to network traffic as possible on Telabs OLTs that have been turned up and are being used for service. The topics covered in this training module include an introduction to the OLT wizard commands, the process for changing the management IP address on the OLT, the process for changing the management VLAN ID values on the OLT, and a process for completing a turn up of the OLT that is currently in service. When a new OLT is installed, the shelf is commissioned by using a turn up process. This process provisions the OLT with a management VLAN, a unique management IP address, as well as some uplink parameters for the system. This process is required to establish a secure connection between the OLT and the Panorama EMS. In certain circumstances, it may be necessary to make changes to these parameters in the OLT after service has been established on the switch. If the turnip process is run again to make these changes, there is a risk of disrupting traffic on the OLT and breaking down the secure relationship between the OLT and the EMS. For this reason, Telebs has developed a process that allows changing the turnip parameters without having to reboot the OLT, delete the any database, or interrupt user traffic. In many cases, a full turnip can be performed without a reboot. It is important that a local any database backup is always done prior to making any major changes to the OLT. It is especially important if those changes require that the any be deleted from Panorama. This action will delete the any from the global database. With a local database backup, the any can be restored to the global database if the any database is lost. To do a local database backup, open the backup application in Panorama. Select the desired OLT, and then select Start Backup. The backup file should be listed in the Restore tab. The network element only needs to be deleted if the management IP address is being changed. To delete the network element from Panorama, Right-click on the network element in the tree view and select Delete. Then confirm the deletion. It should be noted that the deletion of the network element will affect the following configurations. When using Analog Voice on TDM Voice Gateway, analog phone cross-connections are deleted and must be manually re-entered. And when using protection groups, groups are deleted and must be manually re-entered. The network element wizard commands are executed through command line interface. Although network element wizard commands can be executed via a secure shell, it may be required to locally log into the OLT to execute these commands due to security restrictions of the network element. To establish a serial port connection with the primary ESU, use a male to female straight through DB9AT cable. The parameters required for a COM port link are 38,400 bits per second, 8 data bits, and no parity, 1 stop bit, and no flow control. Log into the system when the username prompt appears. The OLT admin credentials are required. It is a good idea to display the current settings prior to making any changes. Use the command wizard element management turn up show. The element management wizard command IP address can be used to change the IP address of the network element. This command allows modification of the management IP address without an ESU reboot 
and does not delete the database of the NE. Enter the command wizard element manager IP address run. The command allows for changes to the IP stack type, the IP address, net mask, and the gateway address if needed. The Management VLAN ID wizard allows changing the Management VLAN ID without rebooting the ESU. The change is non-service affecting to the NE, although the change needs to be coordinated on the attached switch to ensure that communication to the EMS is restored. It is recommended that the new VLAN be configured along the network back to the EMS so that the VLANs will get updated on the EMS. To change the VLAN ID on the OLT, Execute the command wizard element manager management VLAN run. Identify the new management VLAN and VLAN priority for the network. Then confirm the changes. A new turn up wizard has been added to the system that allows the user to turn up the OLT with a reduced set of the most commonly used parameters. To run it, use the command wizard element manager turn up run. The system remembers the current settings and uses them as defaults. In most instances, the turnup wizard can be rerun without affecting existing traffic. The system will inform the user if the reboot is required. The following parameters can be modified without a reboot. IP address, IP net mask, IP gateway, the number of ESU cards, LACP settings, management VLAN ID, and management VLAN priority. After an IP address change or return up, the NE should be re-added to the EMS. During the add NE process, when requested to read the provision data from the NE, answer yes. This adds back the NE local database to the EMS. This concludes the module Changing the Telebs Optical LAN OLT IP and Management VLAN. In this video, we have discussed an introduction to the OLT wizard commands, the process for changing the management IP address on the OLT, the process for changing the management VLAN ID values on the OLT, and a process for completing a turnup of the OLT that is currently in service.